Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. Today, I want to start off by taking on some of these stages. They're basically stages I've done before, except bundled together. For example, with the Queen and the Dead, you start off with Honey Trap, but if you beat Honey Trap, you move on to Parade of the Dead. So here's Honey Trap. It's a deadly stage, but I don't remember how difficult it was. Same goes for Parade of the Dead. I don't think either of them are gonna be too crazy, but we gotta make a loadout that can beat both. If I'm honest, I kinda wanna focus on the second stage and hope that my loadout is good enough to beat the first one as well. So let's get a nice anti-angel slash anti-zombie loadout going. We're gonna put Gaia the Supreme in here, and I'm also gonna be using Amaterasu. That way I have lots of damage for traded enemies, but I also have the zombie killer that Amaterasu has. What do you want? I'm, bu I'm building a loadout here, cat. Come in. Come in. Ah, I gotcha. Hey, guys. Check it out. It's a cat. This means you have to smash the like button. I'll even pet her for a little bit, okay? Because I know everybody likes seeing a cat get some love. Mwah. Okay, I don't know if she likes it, but you know. Okay, so ramen, best anti-angel meat shield. And then we got Shigong, which is the best anti-zombie meat shield. What else do we want? I was thinking maybe bullet train or something, but I would rather have my level 50 slime cat in here. Could be some good support. Is this enough to beat the first level? I don't know. But it should be enough to beat the second one. Don't worry guys, it's just a deadly stage where I have absolutely like no counters to the aliens. And you killed my thing. Don't be killing my thing. I gotta send in some good units here. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Everyone knows the secret to completing any level is to have Can Can, okay? Well, there's a lot of brawlos here, but it's cool. It's cool. We just need to get in that gap again, okay? We're gonna go ahead and uh, hop in your gap. That's cool, right? It's not weird at all. Oh man, I really wish we could get the slime cat to attack, guys. Like, slime could really take out some of these stupid units, you know? Slime, let's go! Yeah, slime, you did it! I'm so proud of you! And the sloth is dead, and the base is coming down. Yeah, baby. See, isn't it nice when you don't have to actually specifically choose a loadout for the stage you're going into? I'm just focusing on the next one, and it's working. Okay. And I get a clear reward for that. And let's go to Parade of the Dead. So here's Dabu. One of the most beautiful enemies in the whole game. And I'm just gonna spam Shigongs at him for a bit, see what happens, you know? Now we have the Gabriels, which are a little bit more difficult, but I gotta say, so far so good. Especially when we get a nice little wave attack in now and then, pretty nice. Okay, let's see if Gaia can, okay, nice job there, Gaia. Guys, it's great, we even have slimes in here doing their thing. And that's not like, a guaranteed wave attack is like such a great support, you know? Oh, and he's dead. We killed it with a Shigong and it's over. Goodbye, give me. Give me nothing at all. I thought for sure I was supposed to get something here. Well, now I just feel sad. Oh, well, whatever, let's keep going. This one is Parade of the Dead first and then something else. Okay, so this time we have Parade of the Dead first and then a bunch of starred aliens. Well, I think we can make that work. Okay, Housewife and Pizza are out. Seafarer and Aphrodite are in, and I'm gonna take this guy and replace him with Catalyte to block the warps. Now, I started off a lot slower this time, guys. I probably shouldn't have. Let's see what happens here. Uh, well, let, let's get let's get Gaia out here, because Gaia was, Gaia was doing good, okay? All right, 30 cat food for me. I love it. And now we'll go to Puffer Planet. I'm not like, I'm not even worried about this, man. With Catalyte, Seafarer, and Aphrodite, we should be fine. Oh, oh, oh boy, he coming, he coming, we gotta watch it. No, oh, jeez, make sure you stop, stop it. Okay, we gotta be careful here, guys. We like don't really want to set this guy off too much or he's gonna just roll us, you know? He's gonna just roll right into us. We got a bunch of stuff happening here. It's gonna be okay, right? We got a little wave attack, which is good and bad at the same time because he comes a rolling back. Should I have maybe brought Metal Macho? so he can take more hits, perhaps. But I think this is fine. If we get a little bit more money, we can put out Aphrodite. Boom! Oh, he ain't dead. Better keep trying. Let's go, Aphrodite! Oh, wait. 
Let's go, Aphrodite! I thought you were gone for a second. You were just taking a little uh, detour. Mm-hmm. Okay, he died, which basically guarantees we win this level. Guys, Aphrodite! I said this in, like, the last episode, but she is still a goat, okay? She's still so friggin' useful in alien stages. It's actually ridiculous. It's so broken, man. Thank you. And we get nothing. Okay, the last one we gotta do, guys, is the Queen and the Maiden. It starts off with Honey Trap again. And then we move on to Bomber Girl. It's been a long time since I did this one, and I kind of feel like Yukimura will help a lot. We're gonna go for Bullet Train and Neo Cutter here, guys, just for fun. I just like watching them do their thing, especially since the last one we're putting in here is Yukimura. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of rushers. And let me guess. Yep, 30 cat food and a leadership and a thing I don't even have to go to if I don't want to, okay? But I'll go to Bomber Girl. I'll collect the almost no experience. It's cool. And look at that. First guy we get is this dude. And we're just gonna do that to him a couple times, okay? A little chompy chomp here. Oh god, this is actually looking kind of sketchy, guys. Can you not? Yeah, thank you for not. Wait, you're gonna do it again? Okay. Okay, that was... There's no continues for this, is there? I, I'm, uh, I'm toast. Okay, fine. We just need Maximum the Fighter. Okay, let's try this again. Maximum the Fighter. And, and that's it. We don't need nothing else. Let's go, Maxi. I'm a Max Maxi, okay? Trying to maximize my Maxes. So, yeah, this is going a lot better, guys. Okay, like a lot better. Thank you, Max. Very cool. And it's dead. I don't even know what to put out first. Another one? Okay, great. Here, uh, Yukimura. Bad idea, probably, but that's fine, right? Oh my gosh. This stage is worse than I remember, guys. And he's actually, like, hurting my base and stuff. Can you not? Can you please don't? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, God, guys. He's gonna kill me. Is he gonna kill me? Is this happening? Is it not happening? Oh! That was so close. I thought that was happening. Well, go me. Thank you for the 17,000 experience points. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah, baby! You know what'll make me feel better? Just pu pulling the slots and getting 777. I mean, what are the chances of that happening? 777! How much cat food is that? 777 cat food! This is seriously the best, the best thing in Battle Cats, guys, okay? Nothing gives you more cat food than this. Who would have thought we'd almost get it on the second try? What's this? I got a mission. What did I do? Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I was thinking to myself, I thought I was supposed to get legend cat's eyes for doing this. And then, and then, and then obviously I didn't get any, but I did. Okay, I did. Now it all makes sense. That was one of the reasons why I took my legend rare with me. Besides for the fact that I love her, is the fact that now I can power her up even more if I want. Now I'm not saying I should do it or anything, but... I'm gonna do it. The only thing better than a level 45 Legend Rare is a level 50 Legend Rare. Okay, you heard it here first. Damn, she costs 2 million XP to get her to level 50, guys. And what's this? I'm done. That's the best I can do. Now, for the rest of this video, I want to go back to the Traitless Citadel. Okay? And uh, obviously you already know what's going on from the title and thumbnail, but I'm gonna pretend that you clicked on this video without looking at it, okay? Today we're gonna get ourselves a new Uber. Crazy, right? Anyway guys, according to my crystal ball, if I roll 24 times and then use a platinum ticket, I will get Dark Tanyan. And according to the internet, that's one of the best Ubers in the game. So let's do the starter special first. That's 11 tries for only 750 cat food. I just got 850 cat food, so this all works out pretty well, okay? 11 tries, let's go. Not gonna get much in here, by the way, but we gotta get where we're going. We got a Viking cat, Matador cat, Rover cat, Nymph cat, Welterweight cat, Tin cat, Jurassic cat, Kotatsu cat, Swordsman cat, Tin cat, Jurassic cat and 11 lucky tickets. Wow, what the, oh my. One dark cat's eye as a gift if you roll again. What do they do again? Okay, apparently dark cat's eyes can be used in place of other cat's eyes if you don't have any, or 
they can be used to boost Ubers up to level 60. So that's cool, but not something I want right now. Now we're gonna use our individual tickets. We're gonna see a nymph and then we're gonna see another nymph. And once we get the second nymph, that's where we stop and roll the platinum capsule. Okay, so not only do we only have one ticket left, but we actually only need to spend one more ticket this is gonna give us our second nymph. And then we will get, there it is. Then we will get our new Uber. Big money, big money, let's go. Give me what I want, please. Wow, you're so nice, thank you, Battle Cats. I'm so happy I can see the future, guys. So we can actually try out some units that I've Obviously tried to get in the past, okay? I've done a lot of rolling. I've spent thousands of dollars on this game, but this one has eluded me. Darktanian, welcome to the club. Ugh. Darktanian, wandering warrior pursuing true justice resembles a certain Meow Skateer. Gains attack power when damaged, effective versus all traitless enemies. Sounds pretty good. And we've got immune to waves, warp blocker, and a long ranged area attack. Sweet, so let's upgrade you to your second form, which is Valiant Darktanian. He values nothing more than justice and will happily sacrifice it all for his cause. Gains attack power when damaged, effective versus all traitless enemies. Okay, okay, and we need to get you all the way to level something, okay? That's right, level something. I actually think I wanna go Oh god, I only have two Uber cat size. I'll give you both of them, okay? I really wish I had more <laughs> Uber cat size, but I've been leveling up a lot of Ubers lately. Maybe I should level up some special cats, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now we finally have Dark Tanyan, one of the best anti-traitless in the game. I wanna see how far Dark Tanyan can get by himself. Okay, so now we have what some people call the best anti-traitless unit in this whole game, and I wanna see how he handles the traitless Citadel by himself. How far can he get? I would say that your guess is as good as mine, but that would be a lie. Your guess is probably better than mine considering I've never used Darktanian before. But here we go. I feel like this is destined to fail. I think I'm gonna need like one meat shield in here or else we're not gonna have enough time to fight back, but we'll see. Obviously we're not gonna have a bunch of damage done here, but there you go. Boom, that's right. Boom, that's right. It's like a faster gal, I like that. Oh no, really? Oh jeez. So you're getting nowhere, huh? Well, I can help you out, I guess. There you go. Keep going. <laughs> so one, one effective uh, meat shield would make a world of difference here, guys. A world of difference. You know, it's kind of hilarious that you guys aren't even like doing any damage to Dark Tanyan here. I mean, you're doing a little bit, I guess, but. Oh my god, really? Okay, yep, so almost completely useless by itself. Not that I'm ever gonna need to bring it anywhere by itself, but two of them, two of them could be cool, huh? <laughs> okay, I did it, I got a rich cat and a superior stage, that's nice, thank you. Okay, tell you what, I'll give you something to help you out, and I think that something's gonna have to be Haniwa, okay? Because it's tough against Traitless. It's, it's supposed to be a good anti-Traitless meat shield, so the two of you together should hopefully be able to do something. I mean, we got through the first stage, okay? That was good. Definitely a really amazing support unit, though, guys. Dark Tanyan's gonna be pretty poggers in some of these levels, you know? And great, look at you. Look at you being, being right here right now, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it might even be better for us to have a Manic Meat Shield instead of Haniwa's, just in case Dark Tanyan runs a little too fast. Because Dark Tanyan does that. And now look, Harry Potter is here to kill us. Well, you can knock me back once and that's only gonna lead to your demise. Goodbye. Yeah, you know what guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna put in Manic Eraser, okay? A great little Meat Shield, of course. And fast enough to hopefully stay in front of Dark Tanyan. Okay, a couple of meat shields that'll stop you guys from killing me. And here we go. All right, that's that's perfect, guys. This is this is everything I wanted. Oopsie doopsie, another level down. Oh God, guys, we've got lightsabers. Why are they so weak, though? That's ridiculous. They get hit once by a friggin' eraser and they die. That is so sad, that is so lame. Go home and go to bed, okay? Because you're useless. There's Legsy killed in one hit. The Anteater killed in one hit. 
No biggie. You know what I'm saying? Legsy, what are you doing? Accept defeat, okay? <laughs> Except defeat? That's hilarious because Legsy has feet. Oh no, is that who I think it is? Wow, someone who's so strong that they survived a whole hit. Okay, look at that. A whole bunch of things, guys. A whole bunch of things to kill. <laughs> and we're killing them. Boop. <laughs> God, this is more satisfying than Gao. I didn't think there was anything more satisfying than Gao, but I found it. <laughs> okay, it's so much fun to watch. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. I mean, for you, I'm doing great. I just discovered another superior stage. Okay, my life is good. This guy was um, moving pretty fast. I had to get some meat shields out real quick. And luckily we have enough time to do that, okay? Because if we didn't get something in there, two of them probably would have uh, ran through us pretty fast. But with D'Artagnan, nobody gets anywhere, okay? D'Artagnan is just, it's, it's murder. It's, it's, ju it's just straight up murder. Floor 8, guys. We're starting to get some pretty tough enemies here. We got a freaking ostrich. And you know, I don't like those. Okay, here goes nothing. Boop. Oh, you didn't die? Better boop ya again. Yeah, two boops. Two boops does the trick. Boop. And boop. So much death in such little time. Come on out. I want to see you all. How are ya? Oh, that's a big... Oh, snap. You hurting me. You hurting me. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. I can't really do much, guys. I, I like best I can do is send out some uh, some meat shields, right? We're strengthened now, and strengthen is a pretty good thing to have going on. This is my first time seeing it because all those levels were so easy. But I'm kind of glad that they uh, they hurt D'Artagnan a little bit, you know? It's even more satisfying when you're strengthened and killing things. This one's no continues. I didn't even check to see what's in it. If it's gonna be you, I'm not concerned. Now, guys, just be be gentle, okay? Be gentle. They're not being very gentle. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to call my friend and ask them to tell you to be gentle, okay? Bunny, don't come anywhere near me, bunny. Okay. That's a whole bunch of sloths, but like, whatever, right? Just gotta keep those meat shields coming. Keep those meat shields coming. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe give you a little bit of that, okay? Try and keep keep everyone away from you. Hey, hey don't knock me back. Don't do that. What the heck? You got this. You got this. Don't get don't get knocked back by no silly weirdos, okay? I wish I could help you more than I than I'm helping, okay? But I just I can't. The best I can do is give you meat shields, okay? okay? Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I'm not ready for this. I almost got a second one. There we go. We got a second one, guys. All is well now. Guys, something tells me level 10 might be a little bit tricky. I don't know. Oh, you strengthened me! Don't Oh! Oh! No, no, break it up! Oh, God. Oh, dear God. They were perfectly staggered for that, and they roasted me. Now I have to sit here and stall until I get them back, and then hope that I don't screw it up. Okay, they're more synced up now, so this might work, but I have to be very careful. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh, dear. No, you cannot. Oh, okay, that's a little bit tricky. That actually almost made me lose. Okay, I, I wouldn't have lost, I guess. I would have just had to spend even more time sitting here waiting to get another Dark Tanyan back. So Dark Tanyan versus one of those slots gets a little bit weird. Is the final level gonna be too much for Dark Tanyan? Okay, this, one's, this one looks fun, huh? We have wave immunity. We are gonna have an issue with the fact that we're gonna lose our meat shields from the waves, but it'll be okay. Wall versus wall or wall versus eraser, or whatever. Oh no, Cory's here already. Cory, stop. Cory, don't. Oh, these th these guys barely even get hurt by this wave attack. Don't worry about it. Cory, die. No, Cory, don't come any closer, Cory. Cory, don't come any closer. Oh God, Cory's, Cory came closer. Wait, we're good. We just needed a knockback. Thank you. Guys, worst case scenario, Cory powers me up and I kill him even harder than I was planning on killing him. You know what I'm saying? But wait, we have to be really careful here. D'Artagnan, watch it. You're strengthened, which means you're weak. Do not, uh, do not let anything kill you, okay? Nothing. Oh God, something killed you! Oh God. Oh no, we're gonna lose now. Oh, it's all over now. Oh jeez. Well, is there something else we can get that would have worked a little bit better, perhaps, as a uh, second unit? Possibly. That's how I did it last time. So maybe 
This time, we we take our lion, but we ignore the rest. Let's go. We got this. We got this. We got this. Come on. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, that's, uh... That's too bad, honestly. That's that's too bad. I thought I thought you had it in you. Now we have to do what we did before. Wow. Let's go, baby! Oh, this looks like it's going a lot better. We're still gonna get knocked back, I assume, but... Yeah, the extra meat shielding we can get out of our, uh, our lion is really nice. It might even, like, delay it long enough that we can, like, you know, get another D'Artagnan, but I don't think we need it now. I think we're good. Hey, we got knocked back again, but we're still alive. I thought that was for sure gonna kill D'Artagnan. We did it. Okay, and here's the second D'Artagnan for your troubles. Okay, so in this case, guys, because Gao and D'Artagnan both needed those combos in order to beat the level, I can't say which one did it better, but... D'Artagnan's definitely a good cat so far, and I'm having a lot of fun with him. Well, guys, I don't really have much to complain about when it comes to D'Artagnan, but if I was going to complain about anything, it would be the thing that I always complain about, which is the pixels. Especially if, like, if you look at D'Artagnan here, and then you go and you take a look at Wind Dancer Valkyrie. Like, look at her sprite. It's so beautiful. I don't know why Battle Cats can't just, you know, make it better. Battle Cats make it better! Anyway, guys, that's a pretty small complaint, and obviously it doesn't affect the gameplay, so no big deal. We have Dark Tanyan now. Question is, who do you want to see me get next? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to check out another one of my videos, may I suggest this one? I mean, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure you'll love it.